Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how to, um, what is it called? Upgrade your firmware on your Kodak ZI8 from, uh, any firmware version up to 1.06. So, here we go. Let's go to this website right here. Um, put a link in the description. Uh, you'll just want to click on this download button right here. And I'll start going with my mouse. Yep, just click on that, download it, save, to, save it to your desktop or somewhere. And the file that you're gonna get, oh, the ridge right here. This is oh, sorry. This is the file that it, you're gonna get. It's gonna be a zip file, so that's kind of weird. Yeah, you're gonna click, gonna click on browse. Uh, select your desktop. It's on the top. Um, click on OK. And then click on unzip. And let that do its thing. And you'll get this folder named Kodak. So you're going to want to double click on that and open that up. I kind of messed up right here. Okay, there you go. you got these two files in here. So you're going to want to highlight both of these. Down here on accident, I put them on my desktop. Oh, well, actually, you're going to want to make a new folder. Name it System. So there you go. There's the System one. And I already have one, so I'm just going to toss this one in the cr trash. As you can see, I already have one. Um, yeah, I'm going to throw that away. There we go. Okay, so I have that system folder. No caps or nothing. Okay, open up. Didn't mean to do that. No. Open up this folder. Um, highlight these two things. And then I messed up right here, too. I put them on my desktop instead of the folder. But put them inside the system folder. So the things inside of the Kodak folder, um, you're going to want to stick inside of the system folder. Okay, now you're going to want to empty off your, uh, what would you call it, your SD card, completely, like, formatted and everything. Mine's not formatted, but whatever, this is just for demonstration, so you're going to want to empty it off, uh, and then toss the system folder onto this while it's empty. So that this is the only thing. So let's just wait for that to get on there. Won't take too long. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. So we have the system folder on the uh on the mem on the SD card that you're gonna put in your ZI8. Okay, there guys. Now it's gonna go to me. Got my camera right here, my ZI8, and you're probably gonna wanna plug it in. So that's what I'm doing right now. Grab on this plug. Sorry, I have to do it on my webcam. It's because um obviously it's on this. My other video camera is the same quality, so I'd rather just already have it on my camera. So you're going to plug it in, put the memory card in, which I've already done, I believe. Yeah, I have. Um, you're going to get this little icon. It's like a ZI8 with a question mark and a little refresh button, and an X in a, in a check. So go to the check, and it'll do its thing. It says updating software. And this shouldn't take too long. And the reason why you want to plug it in is because if it, if like you drop it and the batteries die or something, or yeah, or the batteries die, then you see it's gone now. Um, then basically your ZIA is useless now. It's just like a brick. Um, just to entertain you, I'm gonna do some more effects while it's updating the software. Um, let's find a funny one. My computer comes with all these little funny effects. It like scans my face. You can see I'm like a car driver. Or like Viking. Or Elvis. Skier. Yeah, that's kind of funny. Um, it's still done. Just about done. Um, it also tracks my face for this and it thinks I'm blinking. That's kind of cool. Oh, okay. There we go. It just showed a check and it's powering off. Um, so you just want to power it back on. Oh, yep. There we go. And it'll probably show up again. The little thing will. So what you'll do is just go into settings and format it. Prove it. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. But it does say 1.06. Right there. Okay, guys. That's all. Um, 
hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it was um, informing to you. And if <laughs> and if you want uh, if you have any questions, just put it in the comment box. Please comment, and subscribe. Be very thankful if you did that. Peace.